Okay, you got an article for us. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. And I picked this article specifically because I, I think the guest that we're having on later does a great job at this. Okay. So, um, but uh, it's 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 from Inc. Magazine. I love my I love my business magazines. And um, this one is called a Tip Sheet on Selling, Market Like a Local. And many local businesses don't quite dial in their online marketing to boost store visits and sales. Try these strategies. And so I think that's really important because, you know, speaking of that Chris Principal study, um, that that's something that was really kind of amazing to me that a lot of times the local mindset was, well, we're local. We don't, you know, some businesses wouldn't even have a website. You know, of course, that's right. just unheard of now, right? Um, you don't even look like a legitimate business if you don't have a website. And, and, and so let's kind of go through these. The one, the very first thing that amazes me that a lot of companies don't do is the whole Google factor and the Google business listing. So it says aim for three, um, three aspects of what you want to do to make sure because still Google is the place that you know you got Bing you got some of these other Yahoo and everything but Google still is you know ruling the market where people are are searching and um, and so, that's free oh it's free that, yeah that's right. you just go to Google my bit and do my business listing and um, and basically you want to and it's basically google.com slash business is where businesses need to go and you basically put everything from your hours of operation um, you can do you know a location map um, and 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 any business that has done that if you have that done when they search for your business that's going to pop up immediately right so uh, so that's that's a huge thing that you need to do um, and you know also upload lots of quality fo- pictures a lot of times people just let that that um, you know map that pops up be it but show show location especially retailers my goodness show your retail location a storefront show uh, maybe some of your merchandise and you can always sh- you know change them out you know change it out regularly uh, as well you know I, I, we had somebody on the show about a year and a half ago uh, something 360 it was some kind of video guy that would take this and then come to your office or business and do a 360 yeah. video of your business and then that would pop up right. So that customers and clients could actually see the entire business. And that's a way to expand what this is. Well, and videos are growing, growing, growing as a means of, you know, people, especially the, you know, the millennials, they love to watch the videos and stuff. So, so that's really important to have that. That's more and more. The other thing that was really important that is so, so true is uh, you really want to search out your business and see, because what happens is that there are thousands of directories out there that uh, will pick up your, uh, pick up information. And sometimes if you've moved, it'll keep the old information. So you really need to do a Google search of your own business and see, because like there was one time, um, I actually had a situation where, uh, unfortunately, a disgruntled employee went and changed the directory listings on a bunch of uh, my business locations. And if I hadn't, if I hadn't looked at that, uh, you know, people would have been so confused. You know, so if you really got to pay attention, you hit on this one, this one's painful. You know, I switched broke firms about five, six years ago. I'm telling you, it's like impossible to get that switch. It, it is very hard. There's actually services out there now that I think can actually help oh, you yeah, make yeah. this switch. Oh, yeah, yeah. There actually are. Um, it's basically called, you know, your image on the web, and it'll help, you know, because sometimes it's not as easy as you think. Sometimes right. you have to submit information. You just can't go in, and, and then you're at the mercy of whoever's going to change that information. <laughs> so it can get kind of crazy. And it's like you didn't even put that information up there to begin with, right. but it's there. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so, um, and then also the whole aspect of beyond Google, um, you know, you have to look at the whole aspect of reviews. Reviews are extremely important. Uh, and so you got Yelp, you've got, you know, local.com. And I mean, you know, and then, you know, you were mentioning lknsavings.com and that's a business directory, right? Yep. That's an opportunity. So yep. that's a perfect example on a local level. Um Part of what the search engines do is they're looking, those spiders are looking at all the different places that you are located in on the web. So if you just have a website, that's not going to cut it. You need to be showing that you're uh, really, you're, you have a strong presence on the web. Um, and then the, the third part of it was, let's, that, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's talk about this just for, just for mm-hmm. a minute, Shree. There, there, I know so many business owners like me that cannot stand the whole review concept. Right, right. Because we're at the mercy of our weakest client mm-hmm. and our weakest relationship, right? Right, right. And I've done a lot of 
reading and research on this. And here's the advice I can give you business people out there. It's going to happen. Right. Embrace it. It's and how you respond. That's exactly mm-hmm. what I was going to say. Can you give some advice on yeah, how to respond? It, because th- that's the, the the bottom line is you have to be there to 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 see that it's it's up, mm-hmm. and then you have to respond. Right, because in some cases the reviews you can't delete a review, right? right? And 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 that's for the integrity factor. So the best best thing you can do is hit you know you know deal with it immediately because if you let time pass then it makes it look like you're just ignoring the problem um, it's also advisable that you actually say what you did as a way of rectifying the situation because then if it shows you made an effort and that person still has an issue actually it could make that person look bad not you right. because it's like you did everything you possibly could and the person just has has it out right right um, and and, and then, you know, eventually, the other thing to do, because like social media, things get buried very quickly, the best thing you can do is get a lot of people that love you to do reviews to bury that one review that's yeah. not as good. You know, there was, a, there was a maid service. I'm curious to know how you felt about this. <laughs> her response was, she said, you know, I tried to do this, this, and this to help her. Oh, well, some people you just can't please. <laughs> I love that because as a customer, I read it. I'm like, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, we've had the talk, is the customer always right or is the customer number one? And we believe the customer is number one, right? Uh, so so it's, it's it, yeah, it, you're, you can't please, what was it Lincoln that said? You can't please, you know, everybody. Right. Um, and But what you can do is try to do the best you can to make the best of the situation. That's all you can do. Okay. And then the last part of this was um, the whole aspect of social media. And, you know, what I say to businesses, you know, there's such pressure um, for social media. You have to pick what's right for you because you got Twitter, you got Instagram, you got Pinterest, you got Facebook, you got LinkedIn, you got, you know, with some businesses, they're B2B specifically. LinkedIn is really all they need to do with others, Facebook, uh, you know, Twitter and Instagram. Instagram is just burning it up for some businesses, right? But you have to know what you're comfortable with and what you can manage if you're going to try to do it yourself or, hey, hire someone to do it for you um, and have a strategy around it. Let me, yeah. let me ask you a question. What, do I have to get personal? Do I have to tell people when I go out for pizza? Do no. I, do I have to say I'm getting ready to take well, an hour know. off? And, <laughs> I mean, it's like... I, yeah. I, but that's, that's the personal Facebook and social media. What's been... What was but, really... But people are telling me that's actually working because it's engaging. Well... I think you still need to strategically relate it to your business, okay? So it's not it's not about you, Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got no problem with that. Oh, we were going to make it an entire day with no bell, and you had to do that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. So, but you have to make it about because um, that's actually another good point. Some some business owners don't want to do Facebook because they're because they're shy. They don't want it to be about them, so they're uncomfortable. So I say reframe your thinking around it being about your business. But you are that entrepreneur. You are the face of the business. And what are you doing within the business that's exciting? 